Hi everyone and welcome to the new compliance section. Now in today's lecture we'll understand on what is compliance and the second question is why do we need compliance. So as a typical workflow let's take a simple use case to understand both of these questions. So let's assume that this is an e-commerce company very similar to Amazon. Now generally in Amazon what happens is they generally ask you for a credit card or a debit card. So once you put your debit and credit card they store that card information within their servers. Now this is a similar use case where let's assume that this is one of the e-commerce company and this company will ask you for a credit card or a debit card for purchasing an item. Now let's assume a simple use case, say for example you are storing your personal credit or debit card in their servers. So how do you know that if you are storing your card in their servers your card is secure? Like if it is an organization they might actually download your card information and they might use it anytime. Right? So how will you ensure that the company which is taking your card information is actually securely storing or transmitting it. So this is one of the very important question that arises as a customer is concerned. So some customers might say that, okay, I am storing my credit card information. I have to visit your data center or your office and make sure that whatever security controls that you are implementing are good enough. So if it is a big organization, they will not allow like hundreds of users to come in their data centers to make sure that the security controls are secured. So it becomes practically impossible to do that. So the question is how can a company ensure the users that their sensitive information is secured? And this is where the compliance come in. So there are regulatory compliance uh, which are either formed by governments or an independent body which defines the set of pro policies and procedures that organization must follow in order to make sure that the data that a customer is maybe saving is following the industry standard best practices for security. So for example, say if you want to transmit store the credit card or a debit card information, then you need to other to the PCI DSS compliance. Now PCI DSS compliance is formed by an independent body called as PCI SSC which in turn is formed by various entities like Visa, Mastercard, JCB, American Express etc. Second example is HIPAA. Now HIPAA is a government based regulatory compliance which basically is formed by the US government. The third is for example RBI PSS. So this is formed by the Reserve Bank of India for the organization who are having a digital wallet. Now the question is let's say I am launching an organization. Do I need to adhere to some kind of a compliance? Is it like mandatory? And the answer is it really depends on your business. So depending on what kind of business you are doing, you might have to adhere to one of the compliance. Let's say for example that your organization is storing the customer's credit or debit card similar to what Amazon does. They store the credit and debit cards. So in that case, you need to have a PCI DSS compliance. So all the big companies like Amazon, eBay, Snapdeal, a uh, big, big e-commerce company which takes your credit card information, all of them must have a PCI DSS compliance. Second example is HIPAA. Now HIPAA is formed by government of US and it deals with healthcare data. So any organization in US which deals with healthcare data like insurance or the data which basically talks about my health related things. So these organization must follow the HIPAA compliance. Then another example is RBI PSS. 
सो दिस इज स्पेसिफिक फॉर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हुआ हैविंग अ डिजिटल वॉलेट्स इन इंडिया सो एनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हुआ लॉन्चिंग और हैविंग अ डिजिटल वॉलेट दे मस्ट हैव अ आर बी आई पी एस एस कंप्लायंस नाउ फेलियर टू कंप्लायंस कैन लीड टू लीगल एक्शन एंड मेजर पेनल्टीज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो इफ यू आर फॉर्मिंग और इफ यू आर डूइंग वन ऑफ दीज एक्टिविटीज एंड यू आर नॉट हैविंग द कंप्लायंस देन यू विल हैव टू फेस अ मेजर पेनल्टीज एज वेल एज लीगल एक्शन सो दिस कंप्लायंस दैट वी टॉक अबाउट इन दिस एग्जाम्पल सेक्शन दे आर सम ऑफ द कंप्लायंस विच डील्स विद द सिक्योरिटी परस्पेक्टिव देर आर लॉट ऑफ अदर कंप्लायंस एज वेल and there are many compliance more like iso or sox which deals with the security related data now as compliance is one of the very very important in most of the organizations right now it means a great deal to us as a security professional now one of the major aim of compliance is to make sure that the information is secured and that is one of the major aims and this is one of the reasons why security professionals comes into the picture and many organizations are hiring compliance officer and they in turn hire various security professional whose main aim is to ensure that the organization is conforming to the regulatory uh, compliance on a regular basis so this is why generally if you go to linkedin or your local job site and if you type let's say pci dss then you will find lot of organizations who are hiring people or a security professional who have lot of implementation or auditing knowledge about pci dss compliance so this is the basic about compliance and why compliance is needed again pci dss is, is one of the very important compliance that lot of organizations are having so this is it about this lecture we will be talking about various compliance like pci dss in the upcoming lecture in great detail so i hope this has been informative for you and again if you have any questions or any doubts or if you want to connect to us feel free to connect to us on our social media twitter facebook and linkedin or mail us at instructors@kplabs.in so i hope to see you in the upcoming lectures